Hey everybody, it's Steve. I want to show you my brand new LaserCube Wi-Fi. I've been using the original LaserCube for a while now and I really love it. But today I want to compare it to the newest version and spoiler alert, this one is bigger and better in every way. In this video, I want to show it to you, first comparing its features side by side with Wicked Laser's original 1 watt version, then show how to connect this one wirelessly to the included Laser OS software. And finally, watch what two and a half watts of pure laser power looks like with the Hazer going. You can see by looking that the Wi-Fi model is just a little bit taller and it's heftier than the original version, weighing in at about three and three quarter pounds compared to three pounds. And it measures just a little less than an inch taller. The other obvious difference is this antenna on the back, which of course gives it its wireless capability. They both have the same beam block mechanism on the front, and they have the same power switch, DC input, interlock connector, and key switch on the back. But instead of the micro USB port on the original LaserCube, the Wi-Fi version has an RJ45 Ethernet port as well as this eye bolt to attach a safety cable, which is a nice feature. And finally, on the bottom, it has the addition of this little cooling fan. I used to think my original laser cube was bright at one watt, but the combined blue, green, and red lasers on this Wi-Fi version add up to a whopping 2.5 watts. And the power and clarity of the beams is absolutely amazing. So the way that a laser cube operates is by connecting to the free laser OS software that runs either on a PC, a Mac, or an Android device. And the older laser cubes connected to the device using USB. So even though you could place your laser cube anywhere and not worry about running power to it because it has an internal battery, you still had to run a USB cable to it. And in fact, I would run a 10 foot cable and then an additional 10 foot extension cable just so I could reach my computer up to the laser cube up on the truss. But now with Wi-Fi, it's awesome because you can literally put this thing anywhere and not even think about cable runs, which is an obvious game changer. So the easiest way to connect is with Wi-Fi server mode. And there's other ways you can do it, like connecting an ethernet cable directly to your router if the Wi-Fi is weak where you are. But to connect in server mode, you first push this little button on the back until the status light blinks a fast cyan color. Hold the button for two seconds. And now the laser will create its own Wi-Fi network called LaserCube that you can connect to in your computer's network settings. Then go to Laser OS, Settings, then General, then click the network toggle button and now you're connected wirelessly. Now let's watch both lasers running the same show so you can visually see the difference that one watt versus 2.5 watts makes. Of course it's hard to see on video, but the larger laser engine is dramatically more powerful than the original and it's mind blowing to watch. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe.